Welcome to today's vlog. So I realized that I've officially been living in my apartment for one year, which is kind of crazy. And I just felt like I needed to give my apartment a slight glow up. So that's what we're doing today. Just making it a little more me and a little cuter. <laughs> My chest is so burnt right now. I laid out a little bit this morning and I just I didn't think that the UV rays were UV raying as hard as they were. But I am getting ready right now for the first time in a couple days because I've been really sick and I'm finally starting to feel like a normal human being again. I hate being sick. It's probably like my least favorite thing in the world. I feel like you can still hear it in my voice. We're struggling a little bit. I've been feeling a little down on myself so I'm happy to actually be like doing my hair and makeup today. So I have officially been living in this apartment for a year now and my landlord did not raise my rent which I'm really happy about and I've kind of just made the decision that I want to stay here for a while like I have no plans of moving so I kind of want to add a couple extra touches make it a little bit more me I did just order pink tiles for this wall I wish I had it right now because it would be so much cuter in the background but it's happening Pink tiles are going up in the bathroom. Just peel and stick because I need renter friendly. But I also just want to touch up the apartment a little bit. Like, I didn't know this when I first moved in, but you can ask the landlord to like touch up like little marks on the wall and stuff. I didn't do that. So I've always just kind of had these little scuff marks or like little chip paint here and there. And I've decided I want to fix that because I'm staying here and it kind of drives me crazy. So I'm basically just going to go to the hardware store. I'm going to pick up some paint. I'm going to pick up some different things that I need just to make my apartment a little bit more homey. Also, you guys are always asking me how I curl my hair. And this is literally the only curling iron I will use because I suck at using every other one. I've just never figured it out. But this one is so easy. For me, it's either this or a straightener. I just, I simply can't do anything else. Look how good that looks. Oh my god, I don't even know if I said the brand. Beach Waver. The brand is Beach Waver. And they're actually sponsoring today's video, which I'm so excited about because this is a product that I genuinely love and use all of the time. I've been using this for over a year now, and it is just the most user-friendly curling iron ever. Look at this. It literally twirls like you don't have to you don't have to do anything and then if it's in the back you can just press home it goes to the front this is the future i don't know why i've just never been good at using curling irons it's never a skill that i've owned but then i'll go to like the hairdresser or something and it always looks so good and i could just never do it on my own because me and curling irons just don't mix but this one this one's so easy. I feel like I've really mastered this one. The last time I worked with Beach Waver, apparently a bunch of you guys used my code, which I'm so happy about. If you are one of those people, please comment down below letting me know your thoughts on it if you love it as much as I do. Also, my code is Brianna20 if you guys want to get it. The code works site-wide. You can use it on anything. I've also been using this heat protectant spray. So whatever you want, they have this curling iron. They have like different sizes, different colors. Like they've really got it all. And my code will work on anything. This just feels so futuristic. Like look at that. I literally don't have to do a thing. I don't lift a finger. I just push a button and that's it. It looks like this at first, but then once you brush it out, it gives you more of a beachy wave look, which is what I like. The more I've used this curling iron, I've also kind of figured out the way I like to do it. I used to start right at the bottom, but now I leave just a little bit of a section at the bottom. I curl it up and then I just kind of slowly bring it out like this. Stunning. You guys know I never don't have curly hair. It's just a part of my personality at this point. It's a part of who I am. So I feel like I've spent a lot of time figuring out exactly how I like it and what's the most efficient way of achieving the curly hair. And this is just what I like and what works for me. Ta-da! 
If you guys are looking for a curling iron, I seriously cannot recommend Beach Waver enough. This curling iron changed my life. Like, I truly, truly stand behind this product, and you guys can use code BRIANNA20 again for 20% off. Like, look at my hair right now. You cannot tell me that this doesn't look good. I, like, keep looking at myself. This is so narcissistic. But if you guys want to check it out, everything's going to be linked in the description as well. And, yeah, I really recommend it. Okay, this is what the hair looks like in natural lighting. Big sleigh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm ready to start my day. Actually, before we head out, I wanna take one of my homemade health shots. I've been making these so much and I'm obsessed. Like this is my new passion, my new hobby is just making green juices and health shots. I love that I'm becoming this girl. Like this is the girl I've always wanted to be. Didn't know I could be her, but now here I am making health shots every day. Cheers. Why is it so delicious to me? <laughs> What kind of brushes I need? Is it bad that I want something cute? <laughs> I definitely need something circular like this. Okay, unrelated to the current projects, but I kind of want to make a DIY that involves chains. So I'm seeing what they have. They have a lot of options actually. Also, probably gonna need some pliers for that. Not grabbing a basket was a really dumb idea. Should I just like pick this up and walk around with it? Ooh, wait, why do I want these drawers? Oh, $50, I don't want those drawers. I was looking at these infant clothes and tell me why my first instinct was I bet I could turn this into a crop top. Oops, oops, oh no, oh no. Do we think getting this calendar would fix my life because I kind of want it? It's 60% off, do I get it? Ooh, oh my God, I might get it, I might get it. Oh my God, I don't even know where I would put it. But I want it. Okay, realistically, I don't know if I have a spot for it, so we are just gonna put it back. Okay, I am back and I am changed. Although I like the other outfit, this one already has some paint on it. So I figured this was a more appropriate painting outfit. I also just looked around the apartment and there's definitely some spots that need touched up, but it's not as much as I actually thought, which is nice. So this shouldn't take me too, too long. I did just wash down the walls as well because although there's a decent amount specifically here, here is by far the worst area. A lot of this just like kind of came off with soap and water, which was nice. And now there's just obviously the parts that are chipped that we need to actually paint. One thing about me is that I am always looking for a place to sit. So I'm going to be on the ground. I have some friends. So all they want to do is stand and pace. I'm not one of those girlies. I'm constantly looking for a seat or a chair or I am sitting on the ground. Also, I'm just really trying to shake this up. I'm using primer, which I know is probably not the correct thing to use, but I already had it in my possession, so we are using this. I also did like a little test spot the other day and it looked fine, so this is gonna work. We're gonna make her work. <laughs> okay, I feel like that should be should be mixed enough. Here's what we gon' do. Take it to the limit. There's no other way. And you, with your by my side, dive into the ocean. Let me be your guide. If tonight never comes again, I don't mind. This is not the end. So come with me and just enjoy the ride. I have the hiccups right now, but I'm hoping now that I hit record, I'm gonna get like camera shy and like the hiccups will go away. But I'm setting up my little arts and craft station. I basically have this plant pot that just doesn't match the aesthetic of my apartment. So I wanna make it look kind of like an aura, like a pink and yellow aura. I'm just gonna play around with it. Hopefully I can make it look cute. How do I? Okay, I'm struggling with the vibes. It's so hot in here. Plant pot. Let's add some Pink paint, yellow. I don't know if I'm gonna use black or not, so I'll just leave that there. And then I'm going to use this primer to paint the face of this white. Obviously I need to get a before photo though. Who do you think I am? I'm gonna add the coffee, make it a little more aesthetic. <laughs> My manager just texted me too, saying that I need to book a flight. I have not been doing any traveling and now I have between three to five trips coming up in the next like two months. <laughs> Oh, I'm realizing I should definitely take this plant out so I don't traumatize it. Let's get started. One coat down, it's looking a little rough. 
but we have one to two more to go. All right, my manager ended up winning that battle. <laughs> I did just stop what I was doing to book my flight, but I just kind of let this dry a little bit. It's still not really that dry, but I'm going to do another coat because I'm very impatient. I have an event I have to go to tonight, so I'm thinking I'll let the base of this dry and then I'll go to the event, I'll come back and I will do my design as long as I'm not too tired. <laughs> But the trip I just booked is to Mexico, which I'm really excited about. It's a part of Mexico I've never been before. It's with some other creators and my management and a brand that I really love. So that should be really, really fun. Oh my God, why am I making this look 10 times worse? These brushes really aren't good. I should have um, maybe not gotten the cheapest brushes I could find. That maybe would have helped a little bit. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm telling myself it's fine. You know what, just add some texture, some character. I feel like it is starting to come along. It's giving aura. The back of this looks terrible now, but the front, the front looks cute. This is, this is cute. This is what we wanted. But now I'm like having an internal battle trying to decide if I should do the 7-7 in front as well, but I'm really scared of ruining it. Like this is, this is ruined. I kind of just used the back as like my practice. Um, and it looks uh, very ugly now. But the front is very cute. But I do think it would be cuter with the numbers. I'm just really scared of messing it up. You know what I should do? I should do the 7-7 seven, seven in pencil and then go over it with black. Okay, okay, that's smart choice, Brianna. You should not just be running in there with your permanent black marker. Look how cute. Okay, this is the finished plant pot. I think it's so cute. And I decided to go with the angel number 777 because I was like Googling all of them and this basically represents just the universe working in your favor and good luck and just all of that stuff. And I'm like, I want that. That is what I'm manifesting right now. So I'm gonna put 77 on here. It's just like so my aesthetic right now. I'm obsessed with like the pink aura. So it's very basic. I know I never claimed to be original, but I just love it. It's very me. We're putting it right here. It's also one of the only real plants that I've managed to keep alive. So hopefully she's loving her new home. Another new addition to this setup is down here. I recently thrifted this little heart holder thing. I think it's supposed to be for books, but I used it for my records and I think it looks so cute. I also love how the wood is like matching that plant pot. Ignore my messy desk. This is not the vibes, but my Polaroid wall is starting to fill up. So I have a couple more photos I want to add to it. about ready to call it a night. I am so happy that my apartment is getting just a little bit of a makeover. There's a lot of things I actually want to do in this room, but I'm going to call it a night because I really want to get back to reading my book. It's so weird. I've been reading this book for like embarrassingly enough months, but I couldn't get into it. So every time I picked it up, I'd read like a couple pages or like a chapter or something. And then the other day I picked it up and it just got so good. And now I'm like, literally like living my life just thinking about wanting to come home and reading this book. I'm almost, I'm like almost half, actually it might be like exactly halfway now. Don't mind um, my coffee spills on it. But yeah, at, at a certain point, something just like clicked in my brain and it was like, oh my God, I can't put this book down. So I'm probably gonna read as much as I can tonight. I was gonna work out, but to be honest, I'd rather read. And both seem like healthy options. I'm also drinking my homemade juice that we have like a beets in here, radish, spinach. Like guys, I'm entering my healthy era. Who is she? Who is she? I don't recognize her, but I'm happy about it. Getting a juicer for real changed my life. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like a new human. I take ice baths now. Dude, Brianna from like two years ago would be like, what's going on? Why are we forming healthy habits? <sighs> I love seeing the growth in myself because sometimes I feel like I'm not growing. Sometimes I feel like I'm going backwards or like, you know, sometimes you feel like a failure, but then I'll look at like different things and I'm like, no, wait, wait, look at you improving yourself. <laughs> it just like gives me a little serotonin when I'm like, look at me reading, working out, drinking my juices, forming healthy habits, journaling. Like we love her. We love to see it. The only thing I'm debating is if I want to read my book in bed or read my book in a bubble bath, but that is a problem for me to figure out. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you use code Brianna20 to get yourself a Beach Weaver curling iron, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.